What's going on? We're doing something really, really different with the Intellectual Property School. You must fill out an application before you can get in. And right now, since we're still building it out, you can get a massive discount if you go below and hit the application. Now, what would you learn in the Intellectual Property School? How to make money with your mind. 2009 was the first year that I ever made money from my pure intellectual property. And it was a game changer. It was the 2009, 2010, 2011, it was the most money I've ever made in life. So I will teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to get massive business credit. I've got a secret technique that's in the training that you can't Google, you cannot find. You wanna know why? Because most folks are not actually practicing having a holding company where this is something that I do quite well and I will teach you how to do it as well. So if you wanna get into the Intellectual Property School and get a massive discount, what you wanna do is go below, fill out the application, and then we can have a live conversation. So let's get into this video. Guys, you know, I've been talking about $250,000 was the entry point to being rich. 250,000 makes you rich and three million to five million makes you wealthy and net assets under control, right? And I've been talking about this for years, 250, 250, and I was on Coral, and I found this really great piece by this nurse anesthetist that she made 320,000. Her partner makes the same money, and they're together, and they, she said it was a fantastic life. She actually bought her parents a home and was making the monthly payment of $1,000 easy. And she said, after taxes, after expenses, after deductions to her Roth IRA and maxing out her 401k, and her partner does the same, after all of that, they have $32,000 per month or $340,000 a year to live their life. And I posted this in the community section. And you know, I had two really positive comments, but this is the thing that got me. I'm gonna say this, and you could be offended if you're watching, I really don't care. We had some losers host Cap. And this is the reason I'm making this video. When you don't have exposure to money-making tactics, that makes you a loser, and it makes you bitter because Here's the thing, years and years ago, I used to work in a hospital. I used to know nurse anesthetists. I used to, they were making, back in the day, like 150. I knew this girl who worked in the emergency room. She was a nurse and then she went to school and then they gave her like a $20,000 bonus to come work back at Northside. And she was like, she was a, you know, she was a nurse, she was making like 40. And then once she went through the school, came back to work in the emergency room, well, the operating room, she was at 150. This girl was like 30 years old. And more than likely this was, man, 95, 2005, 2015. This was 25 years ago. That girl's probably retired by now. And this, this is one of the reasons that I, I see this, and this, this is one of the reasons that I revamped the channel and I did all these crazy channels. I have a bunch of losers. Let me just say this again. Losers who do not want to elevate, who do not want to achieve. Because any normal, reasonable person with any level of information could have went to Google and saw what this girl was saying was true but this person put cap and three other losers went ahead and, and liked the post because for some reason, there's a group of people who literally want to stay in the losing paradigm because you know, if you go to the medical school and become a doctor and you graduate, you, you know, you're gonna make some money. But there, there are so many unknown qualifications like a facilities manager, which is something a lot of you don't know about. This is who I used to sell office furniture to. Facilities managers make six figures. The bigger the building, the more money the facility manager makes. There, there are so many careers and things that are out there where you can make a lot of money, but because if you're in that 
I'm gonna call it this, I, I gotta think about it. I, I, I really gotta find the words for this. If you're in an environment that doesn't expose you to these things, because let's go ahead and talk about the Wall Street Bets guy, the guy who bought $25 million worth of Bed, Bath and Beyond stock. Now, how did he get to 25 million? He went to friends and family. All right, how many of you have a friend that you can go and, hey, you know, I wanna participate in this stock scheme and I need to borrow a million dollars from you. All right, sure. How many of you have a friend or friends who can give you millions of dollars to participate into stock manipulation. Not that many people. Th that literally told me so much about this guy that he was able to go to friends and family and ask for this money and get it. Tells me this person grew up in a very wealthy environment. Really, really wealthy environment. Because this is the thing that people don't seem to understand. Your environment makes a huge, huge difference in how you come out, what you become, and the things that you can do your environment. And once again, and I, I do not um, mince my words. These guys are losers because it's one thing just like, well, Glendon Cameron put up this thing about a nurse and narcissist. Let me go to the Google thing and see if this is real. No, no, cap, C-A-P, cap. And essentially, if you are doing better than someone else, that's one of the reasons you will get the C-A-P, cap which I think is one of the stupidest things. If you use that as your vocabulary, you're just a dumbass. You're just a complete fucking dumbass. And I, I say that because I always see capping, capping, capping for things that are positive. Like, once again, go ahead to the Google machine and look up certified nurse anesthetist. And you will, and look at the salaries. This is something that you could have did in literally 30 seconds to find out that it was not CAP. But once again, the dumb, the illiterate, the losers, I think they like living that way. I think they like living that way. I think they enjoy being a low level person. I think they really do it because I consistently see this thing. And fortunately, fortunately, I've run off the majority of these people, but they're still a level of low level earthworms. Let's call them earthworms. Um, well, what, what was that term I used to call them? I can't even remember. But essentially, this is one of the reasons that I have taken my face off of the thumbnails. I know that some of you have noticed that, and guess what happened? I'm getting a more widely diverse mix of people. And you know, let's go ahead and have this conversation about segregation. It's really, really, we tend to self-segregate. There's no one that's making you segregate. People tend to self-segregate. And one of the things I have noticed since I've changed up the things I do with the thumbnails, which is huge, I've been getting a very different crowd of people. I started to get different comments. Thank you, I appreciate you guys. One of the things that I am seeing is with this low level of intellect, these low classifications, this is a group of people that you really can't do anything with. And this is one of the reasons that I started the application process. And let me explain to you. Uh, the majority of people who go to the application, fill it out. I wanna say shout out, thank you, I appreciate that. And I've literally had some people not fill out the application. And then they put their name and their number and phone number, and they'll, they'll put yes to, this is not someone that I would not even send a live phone conversation offer to because this person cannot even fill out an application. These people have self disqualified because they're part of that Ruha crew. I, I don't even know what to call it. And you know, once again, I, I can see, because one of the things that I'm finding out is uh, some of you people who have filled out the app have put down some amazing information. It's really amazing. And it's like, wow, I didn't, this is interesting. This is good. So once again, I appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. But once again, we, we have, and that, the, the whole thing just pissed me off because to have some fool put in cap because a woman 
oh, she was black. <laughs> and she's a nurse anesthetist, I know. And I was having a conversation with a doctor years and years ago when I was in the hospital and we, we, we got kind of deep and you know, the guy was pretty much a nerd and um, I'm not gonna put that in the video. I'm gonna leave out the video, but I made a statement to him and he looked at me and he said, yes. And I was like, how'd you know? I was like, because that's the kind of woman that will appreciate a man like you. And so many things, but what I am seeing is there's a group of people, there's a group of people who want to be predominantly into that situation of low effort, low accomplishment, low results. Because, you know, we're like, once again, I'm getting ready to make some drastic changes to the intellectual property school. And one of the things that we're doing and one of the things that we're setting up and one of the things that we're creating is a different level of engagement. And it like today, I put some training in there that will blow your mind. There are people on YouTube who are talking about that this isn't possible. And I show you a legal, ethical, and holding company strategy to get this accomplished that will literally blow your mind. By the end of the year, and this is, this is with me using it, I will be sitting on so many award points is gonna blow your mind. And one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is the situation of building and creating money because I'm seeing some very, very interesting tangents in our society with what people gravitate towards and what people do not gravitate toward. And anything that talks about working hard, using your mind, being an intellectual, that's kind of frowned upon by certain communities. It's just not that hot thing to do. And it's really interesting because, let me tell you a story. And this is something that literally blew my mind. 2009, when I wrote my second book, my goal was to make $50,000 a year because at that point, I was still kind of wedded to the storage auction. I had a lot of friends and peers in the storage auction business that I could work with, I could network. I, I don't know if I even mentioned this, but my first few years on YouTube, even though I wasn't buying storage auctions, I was selling a lot of stuff for friends. So I was like, if I can make $50,000 off this book and continue my storage auction side pursuits, I'll be good, I'll be good. First year made 62,000. And let, let's talk about that. To make $62,000 from my mind, boom. It, it literally blew my mind. I mean, I remember when I wrote that first book and I got what, what, what was back then called a galley. I don't know if they still call it a galley. And this is a representation of your book, a printed copy of my book. I was in the basement and I was cheering. I just spun around like a little kid. I was so happy. I was so happy to make that $62,000 from my mind. It was, it was like, it was a game changing moment because I was a buy and hold physical goods guy and then I went from that to an intellectual property guy and I made way more money selling intellectual property. There are people out there who are, I'm just say foolish. Well, online courses are going to disappear. I would say anyone that tells you that you cannot make money with online courses, they don't know how to make money with online courses. That's pretty much what they're just saying because online courses is going to become part of a trillion dollar industry trillion with a T. There's a lot of people out there who make opinions based upon what they think is going to happen versus actually having knowledge, knowledge. And I'm telling you, there, there's a lot of people out there on YouTube. I'm not trying to sell you a course. You all know why. And um, someone, I'm not going to mention her name. She, she was, because there were so many people who think it's really easy to sell online courses. I'm gonna tell you, it's not. And for you to get to seven figures, actually for you to do $100,000 selling an online course, that's pretty significant. That's pretty significant. And you got a lot of YouTubers out there, it's like, there's this love hate thing. It's like, I don't wanna sell you a course. I have nothing to sell you, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, more than likely it's because you you just don't have the talent to sell somebody something. You just don't. Spoken as someone who's made millions of dollars from selling online courses. But this is one of the reasons that I am graduating because I feel that I was in middle school and high school and now I'm in college with the online course business because this, this I can tell that having an application and actually talking to people is going to make a huge difference in my online course business that, you know, and it's kind of funny because it's putting me back to where I was when I was selling office furniture and selling, you know, and sending stuff over the phone. So that I, I can already just tell, you know, it's, it's just the beginning, but I can tell going forward, this is going to be a real powerful movement in my course because like those people who, I don't know, for some reason they just showed up and didn't answer the questions. And some people answered with their club name. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but they answered with their club name. But when you get into an intellectual, mental pursuit, you lose a lot of people. And I have folks who I personally know who have seen the receipts, who've seen the cars, who've seen the money, and they're just literally shocked that I can make this kind of money from my mind. And once you get into that mental money space, you, you can't go back to any other way of making money. This is what Tony Robbins has made hundreds of millions of dollars, hundred from selling mentality, mental stuff. And once again, you know, to the losers out there, you can keep hating, I'm gonna keep getting richer because I find it real interesting that the group that needs the mental education the most, the most resistance to getting that education. They don't wanna do it, they don't wanna go to school, Oh, and let's talk about this. And I'm going to say this, the people with the most education, whether that's certain college level education or certain course education or for the very robust and vigorous and a serious self education program will win, will win. The people with the most education will win. And this is one of the things that so many people are trying to get away from. Now I know going to get a college degree and maybe home economics may not be the best thing for you to do, but going to college and getting a degree in college in computer science and you know, or math or engineering. There are just certain degrees that pay like a kid, uh, the son of a friend of mine just graduated and he got the job at Apple, 200K a year walking through the door for someone who's 21 years old. And you know, these jobs are out there. And this is one of the things you see a bunch of people out there talking about, man, these jobs don't pay nothing. I got a question. Are you worth being paid what you want to be paid? Question. Please put that in the comments. Are you worth being paid what you want to pay? Because this is the thing I see that a lot of people want to be highly paid while being a bum. You cannot, like the doctor who saved my life after my heart attack. Thank God he went to medical school. Thank God. Because, you know, you cannot become a doctor or some type of physicist or something by just being a lazy, do nothing bum. You just can't be. But for some reason, we have a lot of people who feel that they should get highly paid to do a regular ass job. Just blows my mind. Because, you know, how do I know? Go to YouTube and look up DoorDash videos. What's DoorDash? You go to a restaurant, you pick up some food, you put it in your car, you drive it and you drop it off. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Big industry, big industry. All right, so I've expressed myself. So if you want to be part of the Intellectual Property School, go below, fill out the application. And if you're not interested, please leave the application alone. Don't even mess with it because I will just ignore you anyway. Go fill out the application. If we have a meeting of the minds, you would be scheduled for a live phone conversation where we can sit down and discuss your mental money future. The link is below. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.